ready to take center stage. is currently starring on Broadway as Rizzo in Greece. Now, during your performance, you give a bit of the famous Xena war cry, and there are a whole bunch of people out here <laughs> who will never forgive me if I don't ask you to do it for us right here, right? All right. is being mean over here. Now, you know what? You did something. We have a lot of people who join us here on this couch, and we love them all, but you did something so genuine. There are a number of your fans here, without hesitating, without coming to schmooze with us, you went over there to sign autographs and meet those people who just really came out to see you. I mean, you, you really get into with your fans. Um, you know, I do what I can to a point, and then, then I have to go, okay, no more. I need some little bit of brain space for myself and um, but yeah I, I just I realize as long as they keep wanting the autographs the show's doing well mm -hmm. so you know keep That's appreciating them thing. and you also have we have two special guests with us in the audience your yeah. parents are oh, yeah. here mm -hmm. yeah. uh, welcome Mum and Dad, and they, um, they'd come from New Zealand to see me on the show, and uh, my grandma came out, two aunties, um, my fiancé's parents came out, and they all got on my house on fire, so that was great. So you're doing the family reunion thing. Yeah. Right here. That's yeah, wonderful. That's nice. Well, we actually decided to do a question of the day in your honor, in honor of your engagement. So yeah. today's question is, what is the best advice anyone ever gave you about love? Well, I don't know if it was the best advice, but my father always told me to look for insanity in the family. <laughs> and, coming from, and coming from my family, that was pretty rich. You know? <laughs> <laughs> for Vince, Sonny, I love it. Go yeah. ahead, Meredith, your turn. Well, I never really got any advice, but I was thinking about this. I remember as a kid, um, I used to be told to brush your teeth and say your prayers. And I think that applies to <laughs> finding the true love in your life. Because if, you, if you don't brush your teeth, you're not even going to have a first date. And if you do finally meet someone, you better say your prayers, because God only knows what will happen. So. Now, Lucy, adding one to it. What was it? Always wear clean underwear. <laughs> <laughs> In case you get run over by a bus, isn't that what you're doing? Yeah, that's sure. adorable. What do you mean you didn't get any advice? Who's not advising you? No, I don't remember anybody ever saying anything particular about love. Just marry any old person. <laughs> yeah. You know, they basically said that. don't marry. Really? Be independent, yeah. Wow. That's kind of like And I didn't listen like everything else. No. <laughs> and you have three beautiful and kids And I'm very now. happy. With a hunk husband and yeah, everything exactly. here. Where to go? Move on before I throw um, up. <laughs> 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 mine was... Don't lose your identity when you, my mom told me, don't ever lose your identity when you get involved with someone before this relationship, you existed, this person existed, a relationship, or a healthy relationship should be two people coming together and enjoying one another and not becoming self-absorbed with each other's you know, persona because then it becomes obsession. But the advice I should have gotten would be do not date actors because they all do method acting on you. <laughs> then they are done that, got the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Meredith, I never got very good advice. When I was in high school, my mother said to me, um, don't go out with guys who are too smart because they go crazy. <laughs> She said that. It is good advice. <laughs> and it's like the insanity thing that you were talking <laughs> about. <laughs> that borderline they go crazy as if brilliant and, and, and insanity have something to do with it. And I married a college professor. So, you know, no, Did he go crazy? Joe, don't, don't worry about this conversation. I just want to say to him, you know, say hi to him at the mental hospital. But, he's, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but he's my ex-husband, you know, very brainy, a college teacher. So obviously, you know, it didn't stick. But that's what I was told. Isn't that crazy? What do you tell Eve, your daughter? Oh, good one. Oh, wow. <laughs> About boys? Yeah. You know, I don't know what to say to what them these the days. Just wear a condom. Not to her, but make sure the boy is wearing a condom. If you are so silly as to have sex, you know, if you're, before you're married. <clears throat> Mom over here. That's a good yeah. advice. That's, yeah. that's the advice, yeah, I, you know. Um, mine was, my mother says that, that men, your life is a pie, and the man in your life is a slice of the already completed pie. 
And just in case one slice is taken away, you won't go hungry because you have a full life around that man. So don't make the man the whole pie, That's just right. a slice of the or pie. Or your children. Or your children. You know, you have to have a complete life. And Can you I'll put ice cream on the Yeah, right. you can't well, put ice cream on right. But the, the other piece pie? of advice was that men are like buses. Don't worry if you miss one, because another one will be five, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so we know you're engaged. Have you set a date yet? Uh, we're we're trying. It depends on finding the um, you know the right the right place. But uh, actually, the best piece of advice my mother ever gave was about um, do not put all your focus into your children because children must grow up. They must go off. You have to save a bit of yourself. She had seven kids. Wow. You must save a bit of yourself for yourself because your children will go off. That's their job, and you have to have. Strength. Continued yourself, mm. so that you're an interesting person. We all go back to Mum and Dad's house mm. all the time. Good advice. Fascinating people. I'm gonna go talk to your mother over there. there. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lucy. Can for you just see us one more time? Oh, 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 oh. See you out. Come on, come on. Coming up. 